open up the camera feed. There we are. Looks pretty straightforward. This will look the camera up. This will look it down, left, right. There's a press to speak button. We'll try that in a moment. Shout out to the folks over at Best C. They were nice enough to send us their solar powered PTZ camera. So of course you can mount this anywhere where the sun hits so that this camera can stay charged. And then using the Wi-Fi connection and your phone and the app, you're of course able to view this camera and view video clips, events, etc. So of course we're gonna get on the overhead rig. We'll go through the unboxing with everything that comes inside of this. And then I'll actually get the camera hooked up right here at my desk. I'll even get a daytime clip and a nighttime clip and show you exactly how good this camera really is. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And now let's check out this Best C solar powered PTZ camera. So this is the Best C CQ1S, a PTZ battery powered security camera. PTZ of course means pan, tilt, and zoom. 100% wire free, no cords, no wires, no worries. It has a built-in rechargeable battery, 2K HD, 50 foot night view, two way audio, and it is weatherproof. 100% wireless, 2K 3 megapixel HD, rechargeable battery, motion detection, two way audio, night vision, weatherproof, PTZ, activity zone. All right, here this basically describes some more of those items in a little more detail uh, with a couple of other things added. So there's a 355 degree pan and 120 degree tilt with four times zoom. It has advanced PIR motion and full color night vision up to 50 feet, 120 degree wide viewing angle, 3 dB Wi-Fi antenna for a strong and stable Wi-Fi connection, it supports two-way audio. It supports local storage on a micro SD card up to 128 gigs and the free app is provided for viewing from your smartphone and flexible powering with built-in rechargeable battery or solar panel this side just really a lot of that same stuff and then doorway backyard delivery office this side just has the app so that's the app you download with the code to scan it and download the app connect the ip camera to the network and enjoy your under the watch nothing at all on the bottom so so let's go ahead and open this one up. Let's see what we have here. Very nice so far. Ooh, a full instruction guide right here to help you with everything. A little sticker, 24 seven monitoring by Best C Security. And then you have the solar panel here. So the solar panel with a micro USB-C port and even uh, this little weatherproof style connector here that should make it to where you ain't gotta worry about this getting water in it. Uh, looks like the cable for this is actually pretty long, so you'd be able to actually put the camera in one spot and have it looks like at least seven to 10 feet of cable here to put the solar panel somewhere else if sun doesn't reach exactly where you need your camera. Now we got an accessories box. Let's pull it out real quick. Our accessories box has the mount. So this would be the mount for mounting this camera to the wall. Inside of this little package is the wall mount positioning for the solar panel. So you'd put this whole thing together to be able to mount the solar panel on the wall. And that's it for that box. Got an extra screw there for something. Screws there for mounting the camera. And then even sticker plate for, uh, for mounting this, whichever way you're mounting it. And of course it included micro USB cable to get you started to charge up the camera. And then lastly, yeah, this is it for the box. Ooh, round. So yeah. So this is the actual camera itself. We'll peel that on off. I like that it is round, personally. Back here is where you would charge it at. So this uh, connector here, as you can see, would be able to plug right in and go into there to keep it weatherproof so that way water doesn't get inside of it. You've got your antennas here. Very nice. Must say, love the build quality of this one. This is one of the best outdoor build quality uh, cameras that I think I've seen. And also down here is a couple of things. So we have a power button and a reset button as well as a micro SD card slot for you to put that 
32 to 128 gigabyte SD card. Of course, 32 is gonna get you only a couple days of recording, 128 gigs will get you like over a week, maybe 10 days. So uh, we'll have to get this all set up. I will uh, actually show you how this even goes on. That's what that screw's for. So literally you just put this on here like so, like so, and then this little screw just goes in. And then of course you mount this to the wall and then bada bing, you've got this camera sitting up there. There is two ways to mount it. So you can mount it directly on the back or through this top one or through both if you're putting it in a corner in the right spot. A very, very nice quality build from what I can see and uh, really no complaints from my first look at this product. So let's get my phone out and then so let's clear off some of this stuff on the table and then we'll get my phone out and we'll go through the setup process with this Best C battery powered camera that includes the solar panel. All right, so now we're gonna plug this in real quick. It does have a built-in rechargeable battery, but I'm just gonna use this cable for the setup process. Included charging cables about three feet, I'd say, and it plugs in right back here, like so. Now, of course, if you opt to use the solar panel, uh, this plug does have, you know, you're able to pull that one out and be able to put this one in towards weatherproof. So this would be the ideal way, just I'm doing this for setup purposes. But when you get this outside, put this up with the included mounting bracket and the solar panel will keep the battery inside of this recharged and you'll never have to take it down and deal with anything. I've also got 32 gigabyte class 10 micro SD card from Micro Center. We are going to put that in the bottom, which is also where the power on switch is. So we'll slide this in like so. And then we'll just hold this button for a second or two, maybe three and it's powering on. Oh, let it spin around and do its thing. So right here inside of the instructions is the app. So this is the app you'll need. Install this app on your phone. Once the app is installed, once the app's installed, create you an account, and then we can go through the setup process. So there we go. We are now inside of the app with our account created. So we're gonna select add camera now. Once you select add camera now, it tells you to turn on the device and then you hear the sound or saw the light. We've definitely heard the sound, so we'll click next step. We'll allow it our location while we're using the app. Sure. And now it is searching for nearby devices. And there it is. It's found the CQ1S. Now it's getting my Wi-Fi information. Put in my Wi-Fi password here. It only works on 2.4 gigahertz. But I can say with my with my mesh Wi-Fi system, I've never had an issue without them being separate SSIDs. So now it's going through the process and should be adding this camera to this device so that it can get the Wi-Fi information. Wi-Fi connected. There, there it is, Wi-Fi connected. And once it has the camera information, then it's successful. So now we can give it a name. We'll call it the Best C Smart Camera. And Wi-Fi signal is strong. It's good. And so there we go. Now we're in the app. We can we can click the play button to open up the camera feed. There we are. Looks pretty straightforward. This will look the camera up. This will look it down, left, right. There's a press to speak button. We'll try that in a moment. White light. Look at that, nice little button for that. There is an alarm, we'll also give that a try. This will play the uh, sound through the speakers for us. And one thing is you can't click anywhere on this, you have to actually click the physical play button. Now there is also, when you click the screen here, you got a little photo button and a video and a video record button. Uh, you have your Wi-Fi signal strength here and bat battery signal strength as well. And then this button gives you some more options. So there it tells you your battery signal strength again, notification settings, you can take a look at those. Motion detection settings, SD card for video, so that's pretty important. Sleep settings, if you wanna schedule a sleep time, and then firmware, you can see my SD card management, 3.7 gigs of 29 gigs. Lighting settings, so indicator light, flashlight alarm, night vision, and audio settings. And there is some advanced settings, anti-flicker, and your installation settings are here, where you can rotate the image and stuff like that. So let's uh, hit the audible alarm, see what that does. Okay, that's what that does. <laughs> And uh, I guess let's record us a daytime video clip. And this is a daytime audio video test on the Bessie PTV camera.
And then let's also uh, see what the speaker sounds like on this. Let's do the speaker test now. This is a speaker test on the Best C PTZ camera. And so the only other thing I can think to show you is snapping a picture, which is just that button, and then it takes the photo. Outside of that, let me show you a nighttime audio video test. And that's the spotlights on at night. It definitely puts off a ton of light. This is a nighttime audio video test on the Best C PTZ camera. And this is a night vision test with the spotlights. Very nice. And that should do it for this Best C PTZ camera. And there you have it, the Best C CQ-1S solar-powered PTZ camera. I, as you may know, test a lot of these, and in my opinion, from a video quality standpoint, and just from a speaker and just app functionality standpoint, this Best C camera is one of the best PTZ cameras I have used. If you're looking for something that's solar powered, that you can set up and not have to worry about again, this is exactly what you would need. Super simple setup, has the micro SD card support up to 128 gigs, so it can save a ton of recordings there. And of course, there is a cloud storage option if you want to go that route. Of course, with an SD card, you really don't need to. Definitely two big thumbs up to the design team at Best C. Truly one of the best solar paneled PTZ cameras that I have tested in terms of the quality of the product and the quality of the video and the software. So I'll of course have this exact model linked down below in the description if you'd like to grab one of these for your household. And that should do it for today's video. Click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and we'll see you in the next one deuces